We're live, we're back. And it's almost, we're one hour until giveaways. One hour, ladies. And white claws. And white claws. <laughs> we have had extra dose of coffee. We did. We have cupcakes. We just had some swag delivered. Oh yeah, we did just have swag delivered. And we are, I don't know if, I'm sure a lot, most of you know, but we, um, one of our team Prego girls is Prego. She is the and first one to be Prego on our team besides me. I guess no. I don't count. I was Prego during a Prego Kim Expo. Kim was pregnant. Oh, and Kim. Yep. Yeah. And so, Carolina. Yes. You're right. So we are, we are the only ones that don't know if she's having a boy or a girl. So we're going to do a little gender reveal. So we wanted to come on and kind of just talk about some gender reveal trends, especially in the era of COVID, because a lot of people have been doing like, I was looking online and a lot of people are doing virtual um, gender reveals. And one thing that I thought was kind of cute that somebody recommended was you send little gifts to everybody oh, that's attending your zoom call or your virtual oh, yeah i know right and so you send one to everybody and then everybody gets together at the meeting at the you know gender reveal and then everyone opens the package at the same time Aww, that's I love cute that. right so it just can be a little small like something small i mean but i think that's really cute Megan's having a virtual um, reveal on the 21st. So oh, is that nice. what you're doing, Megan? Are you doing something similar to that? We want to hear. I know. So. I want to hear some other cute ideas. And I know a lot of them are like, you know, the confetti cannons. That's mm -hmm. the one we did. You hosted for it one my, gender reveal. Yes. Yeah, so for my daughter, um, gender reveal wasn't like that big of a thing with yeah. my first baby. Um, it just started with the cake. Like the cake mm -hmm. was the first gender yep, reveal where the you cake. cut you into cut it, it yep. and the icing. So I remember when the doctor like wrote it down and then we went to Publix, our grocery store and gave the um, the baking department the, the mm -hmm. gender and then we're walking around and they're all giggling because it was kind of the first time that they were doing it and they were like, we know what you're having. But I didn't <laughs> know and I got so nervous and so we well, you're really, like thinking you see all these like mishaps where people mess it up. Yeah, I <laughs> and like know. a bakery messes it it's up. It's stressful. <laughs> so we really wanted a boy like so bad because it would have been the first boy for both sides of our family. And I remember cutting into the cake and pulling it out. And Juliana's like, girl, girl, I see pink icing. And I, we were just kind of like. Oh man, we we're a little bit bummed because we really hyped ourselves up and thought it was a boy. But Mackenzie was born, a beautiful girl, and she's so sweet. We were just like, could have not believe that we even cared what the gender was because she was absolutely perfect. Right. And so I think a lot of these ideas are really fun, especially for everybody that's doing the virtual gender reveals because of COVID and because of kind of travel restriction in a sense too, because a lot of people aren't able to travel right now. So, I mean, I think some of the, if you have family that's out of town, I think the virtual option is a fun way. And I love the idea of just sending a little gift box that everybody opens at once. Like when I read that one, I'm like, oh, that's such a great idea. I really so love cute. that idea. Or it would even be fun if you sent out and only one person that opens oh, it actually yeah. has like the whatever it is you know everybody else is like gender neutral oh, that's it's like fun. pink and blue pink and oh i have pink and blue you know kind of thing that would be fun i know i've also seen the balloon pop i love the black big black balloon that mom's pop yeah, and then the like confetti comes too. out that one's really fun um i know malia has a really fun one that she kind of put together today, which you all will see. I've only kind of heard about it. I haven't seen the board yet. So we'll kind of touch on that one too. And I want to know, like, is anybody not finding out the gender? And why are you deciding not to find out the gender? So my second one you was guys a surprise. Went, yeah, you guys went surprise. And it's funny because everyone's like, isn't that hard? I don't think I could have done it with the first one. But the second one, after you make that decision not to find out, it's not hard. Yeah. You're just like but it drives everybody nuts I know, because our sister-in-law our other sister margaret 
their first baby, they didn't find out either. Mm -hmm. And it drove us crazy. Yeah. We just like had they to They didn't know. find out for either one, right? For both of them? No. Uh, second one, Lily, oh, they found yeah, out. That's right. And so some virtual birth or baby showers too. I know someone was just um, one of our old team Prego girls. She had a virtual drive or not virtual, but a drive through baby shower where they were able to kind of be able to see the her and she mm -hmm. people dropped gifts if they wanted to. That's kind of like goes into those um, birthday parades or the parades that everybody has, you know, like that's kind of fun too. And I don't know if any of you have those kind of like card my yards or, yeah. you know, those fun sass things. You can like sass the grass <laughs> up and get it all going. Like that's always fun too. Um, Keisha, so everyone's been bugging them to find out if it's a boy or a girl. I want to also know if anybody had any like gender like disappointments, like where it just went south, like it was just <laughs> not good. Because <laughs> I want to hear those too, because you see those on the internet, you know, and it's like, kind of like how we did on TikTok, like how I expected to look while pregnant and how I really look. It's like what I expected my gender to re reveal to be and what it was, you know, kind of thing. Like, I wonder who had those. Let's I've see. seen like those beautiful boxes that you hang and then you pull the bottom out and the confetti kind of falls yeah. on top of you. Oh yeah, I saw that one too. But a lot hands. of times like it comes untied and like <laughs> hits people in the head. It's not funny, but it's a little bit funny. Yeah. When that <laughs> says, Chelsea said, total disappointment. We had to do the photos because when we did the reveal, because when we did the reveal, I was so upset. Oh no, Chelsea, that sounds horrible. I know, but it's okay because you're going to love that baby and you're going to be so happy. That, I know. Like, and then you're going to laugh about it later for sure. You're going to be like, remember that time when you messed it up? Because <laughs> there's always that one person that messed it up. <laughs> for sure. Well, when with Finley, my little boy, we weren't finding out the sex. And when I was at a doctor's appointment, I it was my 36 week checkup. Mm -hmm. And I knew that I was going to go into labor anytime soon. And I was letting the doctor know, I said, I really think that I'm going to have this baby. Like, can you check me? And she was like, Oh, you know, with little boys, you got to make sure it stays in there the whole time. And I'm like, she goes, well, if it is a little boy. And so I think she kind of like acts accidentally told me oh yeah i remember you yeah. telling me that after the fact i mean i found i'm just not good with surprises like at all so i don't think i could have i found out with both of mine and i mean so mine are 11 and 9 and back then it wasn't really like it was either like you just find out at your 20 week ultrasound or you don't find out until they're born like there yeah. was no like gender reveal madness so i was like I told Scott and I, my husband, I'm like, what do you want to do? You want to wait or you want to, I'm like, I can't wait. And he's like, yeah, I don't really want to wait either. So we're like, let us tell us. <laughs> God, I would need days. to plan. So I need to know like what my colors, my nursery are going to be. I need to know what clothes I need to buy. Like I'm just, I just have no patience. No patience at all. Let's Third see. pregnancy, I'm having another boy. This will be the oh, last, hoping for mm. a girl. But as Tanisha, long as I'm sure he's going to be beautiful, just like your other two boys. I know. And, you know, if you might be the only queen in the family, there can only oh, be one. Well, yeah, Taylor said, she said, my sister painted her nursery pink. She was so sure, but then she found out it's a boy. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Hope he likes pink. Let's see what else. Uh, this one had a gender test done, and my husband wanted to be surprised. Our results were emailed to both of us. He he was excited, another boy, but it totally dropped the ball on that one. <laughs> Happens. Oh, she had one over Christmas. Family across made packages that had boy gingerbread or girl gingerbread. Oh, that's cute. It was wrapped so I could tell them I had the high. Oh, that's cute. See, little, like, packages that you send everyone like I think that's a really cute idea I think that's my favorite right now as far as like the virtual gender mm -hmm. reveal is sending you know as long as you're not like having like a million people like if you're just doing your like you know and you have like a small extended family or a small family and you can send out 10 little gifts yeah there's some really cute companies out there right now that have like the cards that when you open them they like pop oh, out yeah, yeah. and like confetti so that one would be like a good one uh -huh. to use as well yeah those are cool 
Let's see, what else? Serena, somebody said Serena had a good one. Where is she at? Where's Serena? Oh, Serena, yeah, that one with the gingerbread. That one was a good one. I like that one a lot. Um, I did one for Margaret, our sister-in-law. We, she, um, I bought like a bunch of boxes oh, yeah. and they didn't know. So I was in charge of the gender reveal yep. and I was like super nervous. Um, I thought I would get it wrong. I had to like look at that letter like a million times from the doctor to make sure that I was getting That's the right. sex. That's right. I, could, I almost don't yeah. remember that one. That's right. So what I did was I said I would keep it simple and I put a, the gender was a girl. So I put a little um, girl outfit inside the box and then I wrapped the box blue. And then I took another box and I put that inside and then and I wrapped, wrapped it pink. pink. And she and did I, a box inside of a box inside of a box <laughs> inside of a box. But each box was wrapped in a different color, pink, blue. Yeah, pink, so, blue. but I had cute. to like calculate whether I should have the first unwrapping be either pink or blue because they already had a girl and I didn't want the first one to be blue and it be like them to be super excited and then them see a pink one. Did and you wrap it half of, and half? I did. I started with half and half. And then they opened it up and it was a girl and then they opened it up and then it That's was right. blue for That's a boy right. and they kept going and they hated it. It was driving them crazy. Lee, our brother-in-law, he was like, just tell me, I just need to know. Just Cause it tell was like me. legit like seven boxes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every box were like, Ooh, no, <laughs> Ooh, no. <laughs> I was like, Sam, I will beat you up. <laughs> So, all right. Well, we've heard a lot of your stories. I'm excited to find out this gender. So who's ready? Who's ready? Okay, let's have everybody vote so we can see. Are right, you let's guys put team, our masks on? Are you guys team boy or team girl? I think it's gonna be a boy. And according to the Chinese gender reveal. The Chinese predictor. It says it's going to be a boy. <laughs> now I'm doubting myself. So according to the chat, and who did the Chinese gender? Mine were both correct. So, I don't think I ever did that, but I went by the heart rate, and the heart rate was correct. So yeah, the heart rate is a good one, a good one too. And Malia did do the China because I did watch the um, like old wives tales of. Um, and it's like, you know, salty or sweet. And one of the big things. There so here's her. There she is. So here's our little board. Are you girls going to come in here too? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And then we have, this is our beautiful Brittany. I looks like she's on team girl. I am. <laughs> oh, she did that on purpose too. Yeah. Okay. And we're white not to give it away. All right. All right. All right. Okay. But let me explain the rules if okay. you're ready. Let's go. Okay. So each one of you will take a turn removing one of these tabs. Okay. And it's either going to have a question mark behind it or it's going to say girl or boy. But you have to get to three for it to be the correct gender. Okay. So I like that because, mm -hmm. so if you all heard, there mm -hmm. are, it's either a question mark or girl or boy. And we have to have picked either three girls or three boys yep. to know if it was boy or girl. That's a good one. I that, that way one. you don't pick the that way you don't pick soon. it too fast. Yeah. So yeah, the game goes afraid. on a little like, bit longer. Gonna pick it on the, the first, on the first <laughs> All right, all right. So this is a great idea, y'all. I like this, and you could do this virtually because mm -hmm. you could do you could put numbers, yeah. and yeah. then you could have your family. Be like, I want number one, and then you take it off. So you could do yes, that virtually. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Uh Sam, go first. All right. I'm gonna go first. I'm going to pick and you can just rip it off completely. This one right here. Oh, got a boy. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah. All right. Oh, I'm going to go with. One right here. Question, Ooh, mark. question mark. Well, I use some strong tape on here. <laughs> you can rip the board. All right. So we've got one boy, one question mark. All right, Monica. All right. You're up next, sister. Hang on, let me do that one. You gotta rip this part. Oh, you gotta rip this part. Oh, question, oh mark. question mark. All right. Um, so we got two question marks and one boy. 
Oh, girl. Okay. Question mark. Okay, okay. this your, is get your, your turn. Your this turn. Is, what do you guys one. want? Which one, guys? What the girl side? One? What corner? Top row. Do we want the side rows? <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with what Lucy's saying. I'm going to pick a girl one. So I'm going to go with this one up here. Oh, question mark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she said top left. Somebody so. said blue spiral. Oh. Mm. Okay, well, I'm going to go top left. Oh, oh I got girl. Okay. Oh, All right, we got one boy, one girl, and lots of question marks. Yeah, a lot of top left corner. Okay. <gasps> we got another boy. <laughs> okay, Monica's on the phone right now. So I know, this wait. would be so, this is such a good idea for virtual. Like, it really is. It's super simple, I yeah. feel like. And all right, Monica. So, so we got two boys, <gasps> one girl. Oh my God. <laughs> Pick one, Monica. Somebody said blue spiral, but you don't have to. It's she pulled off. Oh, spiral. she did. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I did. I pulled off. All right, I'm gonna do this one. Ah! I, did it! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it is oh, a boy. It's a boy. It was right. The Chinese gender predictor is always right. Oh, yay. That's awesome. Social media was wrong. Yeah, everyone thought it was a girl from my symptoms. Yeah. yeah. I had the acne, the morning sickness. I know. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. oh that's we awesome. We to do gender reveals during virtual Prego Expo for some people. That would be fun. We yeah. pick a couple, like, people who yeah. want to do oh, it. Yeah. I feel like we did that one show. We did it Remember? at a show. We yeah. did it at a show. We picked a mom who got a sonogram. And at the show at the show and sh they didn't know they wanted to do it and then we took the answer and we did a whole thing and we oh did their God. gender reveal at prego wow. expo <laughs> all right y'all we're here some of these are really great great ideas i think this is one of this one is also one of my favorite ideas and you can totally yeah. do this virtually and i got it all at the dollar store and the dollar <laughs> store so you can't so, like honestly you could do it and <laughs> yeah Exactly, and you could just number each yeah. one, and then you have your family and friends pick a number. Yeah. I've also seen this game played where each one, instead of a question mark, is just boy or girl, and then the last one you rip off is like the either like the right yeah. one or the last one. Ah. So whoever has more. So if you do, yeah. there'd be six girls if you're having a girl. Oh, and only, I see. And okay. only four, four boys. Yeah. So so you can make it a lot. If your family's guy. larger, you can yeah. make it a lot larger of a game and you just create your own rules and you say, mm -hmm. hey, they're whoever's the winner has six or eight or ten yeah. and then it can go on for a lot longer. And that would be a fun. That's fun. I like that. Great job, Malia. And congratulations. Yay. Yay. Another boy. So grab a teal shirt and make sure okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, we are going to be logging off here, oh um, getting ready for Ergo at 3. And then we will be back at 3.30 for giveaways. Sorry, I like lost Sorry. my train of thought. I was like reading a comment and then I'm like, what happened? So, all right, y'all. So we will be back again at 3.30 for giveaways. Congratulations to Malia. She's having a sweet little baby boy. Um, and we will see you all again soon. Oops, stop broadcasting.